Bless up people, bless up people, you don't know this is so big. Now watch now people, I want to make this reason in fast and quick. Now I just watch a video with Nikki Z and she said some things and I want to add a little bit to what she, you know, I say. But you know, I might get blacklisted for this, but I saw it go. Because the truth alone shall set you free and once you have the truth, you don't care about wealth and fame and them something there. Now, Nikki Z said some things and she just scratched the surface. I want to go a little bit, you know, under the surface about the things that are affecting dancehall music, reggae music. Now, you have some people where in other industry are people. Them are the people them where blockage, where padlock on the gate, and them are the gatekeepers, and them are black, who for black and let you, who them want to let you. And the people them where them want to let you is not necessarily the people that they want, the audience want to hear. Especially the audience and the international scene. The audience and the international scene deals with clarity, melody, and good beats, rhythmic beats. That is what people know dance all for. Catchy melodies, catchy hooks, something they can dance to. So the artists that you want to let you might not necessarily be the artists that the foreigners them want to hear. And why we cannot lock out the artists them that the foreigners them want to hear? Because when we come and we work overseas, we bring back the money to Jamaica and invest it. So that is helping the economy. Now many of you have not realized that dancehall music is not being played anymore. Especially new dancehall music. New dancehall music is not being played anymore on crossover radio. Afrobeat has taken its place. If you want to hear dancehall music, you may hear a little bit of music in the... In the um, Rush hour or drive time, you might hear, you know, ten, you know, ten minutes or five minutes of dancehall, and guess what? They play Romy, Heads Eye, Sean Paul, um, and everyone falls in love sometimes. Bam, that's it. But they're playing the new Afro music. Not that Afro music could not coexist with dancehall music at radio, but if Afro music is better now to dance to, and better to sing along to, why would you play dancehall? You see what I'm saying? So what them do? Them find people like Kali Nines them now and put them in charge. Down a fame, down a radio too, down a RGR network. Kali Nines, Kali Nines is in charge. And you know, Kali Nines is a man now if him not like you, your song can't come out of the library. No matter if the DJs them want your song to play. For example, Ism album, my Ism album, a reggae album, you can go listen it for yourself. It, it did not leave the library even though the DJs them wanted it to play. But he let you the uptown artist them with the freedom album because that is what he wants to get out there. So him basically you know him control what you hear. So if him not like it, that is it. Now outside of Cali Nines now, because Cali Nines are the one we have the seat now where Dennis Howard leave. They brought in Dennis Howard and they got rid of Francois. And Francois was a balanced brother. When Francois was there, artists never have that problem there. And bringing Dennis Howard, what Dennis Howard did. Say no more dancehall music on radio too. Strictly reggae. Now there was not enough reggae to fool this lot. So of course you know say some reggae gonna play now what is not well produced and all of these things because we don't have a lot of reggae artists. It's not like back in the days when you have Bob and Dennis and Peter Touch and Bonnie them and you have a lot of reggae music, you know, rubber dub music. So of course, you're going to lose ratings on the radio. So they bring in Dennis Howard because Dennis Howard never too like dancehall artists from morning. You look at his articles. He never too like dancehall artists from morning. You understand? So they bring in Dennis Howard and Dennis Howard mash up Radio 2. Because Radio 2 was one of the stations where break dancehall music and the DJs over Radio 2 like Troy McLean and Garfield Hamilton and Dalton Leet that were breaking real records that broke songs like Temperature and all of these beats and Duali Rhythm and all of these beats from good producers because they have the ears. They basically reduce them to some boring segments. Not that the reggae is boring because you see what I say? I not say that. But if it's not produced properly, it's going to get boring. You understand? 
So them basically bring in Dennis Howard. And Dennis Howard decides, say, this is how the station gonna run. Then him get rid of Dennis Howard and Colin Hines take the space. So him decide now, we get out there, we come through the airwaves. You understand me, I say? Nicky Z is right that he's not Payola mashing up the music. Because Payola has always been. What is mashing up the music is, as I said before, is that some man will take your money and then clown you. Take your money like you pay them rent monthly and then still don't play your music. You understand? So we don't have a problem with the youth's money because they don't know. So we go a far in our work. I don't know if we come back and share about $2,000 with the youth. Them, because everybody have to eat. So I know that I really much of the music. And the man then will take the money and clown you. And take your money and know so the song does sound good. And still take your money and tell us that they're going to work with it. And still clown you. Because every song will produce sound good. But we have some good songs. But them not look on. Because, of course, them have personal agenda. And if you say something that they don't like, them take it up on them head and decide where come through the airwaves for you. Not where the fans them want to hear anymore. But guess what? It's not the man them alone who not black. It a hurt, you know. It a hurt the whole industry. And sooner or later, we not have no dancehall artists on the international scene. Because let me tell you something, man. When you cut down a tree and you not plant back none, you're going to have a desolate land soon. Remember, me tell you that the things that me are the artists, they want to black out and not hurt. We are hit makers. You understand? I'm going to let you the hit makers then because they are bringing the international bread. Letting the good producers, them Tony Kelly, them. And the good producers, them we can produce rhythmic beats. Because people are firing one dance and sing along. That's why Afrobeat is doing well. Because people can dance to it and sing along to it. Why you do me like Joanna? Jo, Jo, Joanna, you must dance, you must sing. That is what we used to do. It's what I say. Where that there? I don't know why I hear that now. Somebody tell Lexus the other day. In our studio, he don't want him DJ like the 90s style. He want the, him, the, the producer say, I, I post me see him post it. You know, say me and him not too good, but me have to still talk about it. Yeah. Man say, I want him DJ like six. <laughs> good, the only time you can hear it, I want me do a video and you hear it. Sean is a new rhythm <laughs> called Friendship Real. Big up. <laughs>